Alright, hello everybody, and we are back for another installment of Goku Reacts, and today I have two of my closest friends joining me. One is Zane. Hello. And female Yugi. It's actually Yumi, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yumi, Yumi. Female Yumi, everybody. And they... Hi. <laughs> They will be joining me today for some jaded animations because one of you has requested for me to react to this. The uh, Time Patrol Elite. Thank you so much for suggesting this. And if you have any more suggestions, guys, please leave them in the comment section down below. Um, so they're going to help me react to this. This is I attempted my first Pokemon Nuxlocke. Is, am I saying it right? It's actually Nuzlocke. pronounced Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke. Thank you. See, that's why I brought you guys here. That's why they're here. And yes, don't comment, they're from the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. Yeah, I get it. Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe, how would they know about Pokemon? Well, they happen to be Pokemon fans, too. So, you know. But yeah, without further ado, let's let's watch this. This is gonna be good. Here we go! Within the Pokemon community, there's a set of self-imposed rules you can add to the games to make them more challenging, called a Pokemon Nuzlocke. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies, and you can't use it anymore. And you have to nickname your Pokemon to get more attached to them. That means oh, wow. if you aren't careful, you can technically lose a Pokemon game under those conditions. I've wanted to do a Nuzlocke for the longest time. I've started a couple in the past, but never actually got to finish any because busy. But today's Work. the day that all changes. I decided to make a video on my first full attempt at a Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Nice. Let's see how it went. Let's see how it After goes. After breaking free from the back of the moving That's truck my mom stuffed me in and introducing <laughs> myself to the neighbor Brendan, the kid that I always thought was a monkey said that he heard screaming up ahead. Professor Birch is getting mauled by a level 2 Poochiana, so I let his Torchic out and she scratches the crap out of it. Yikes. He gifts me Torchic for rescuing him and I name her Teriyaki, my first Pokemon. <laughs> Walking up the route more, I run into Brendan, who challenges me to a battle, where Teriyaki proceeds to also scratch the crap out of his mudkip. Good job, Teriyaki. You're two for two. Doing great. Professor Birch gives me five Pokeballs, and the Nuzlocke has officially started. There I walk back up to catch my first Pokemon and ran into a Zigzagoon. Alright, not Zigzagoon. the best, but I, like I can work with this. You know, I think we're gonna have a really awesome adventure. Dude. Wow. So Teriyaki one-shotted Zigzagoon with a critical hit scratch, but Teriyaki whatever. Style. Contain your murder a little bit, all right, guy? Route 102 is right around the corner, and that's where I was able to catch Corn the Sea Dot. Look at us, couple of friends ready to take on the Hoenn region together. After watching the weird kid Wally struggle to catch his first Pokemon, Poor I continued Wally. on to Route 104 and found yeah. a little Taillow in the grass. Wally's my favorite. Aggressive and screams and hungry. Is he showing his... Oh, yeah. Wow. I know your name. Yeah. In Petalburg Forest, a Team Magma grunt jumps some random professor, so Ari and Teriyaki peck his eyes out. Ha <laughs> You the wrong neighborhood. Oh, hello, Shroomish. I'm gonna name you Onion. I make it to Rustboro, but... and while getting ready to take on names? Roxanne's Teriyaki? gym, Teriyaki Onion? kills another Zigzagoon Teriyaki I was about has to no catch. Chill. What's your problem with zigzagoons, dude? But it turned out alright because she also <laughs> ended up evolving. Onion was able to destroy Roxanne with ease, and we got our first gym badge. Exiting right. the gym, we catch a glance that Ash Team Magma is up to no good again. Something about the scorching earth or something. And this old man exclaims that they stole his Pico. Whoa. Here's your dog. Also, you're coming with that me. Was quick. The mayor thanks me by turning wow. me into his errand boy, and I arrive in Duford to give a letter to Steven. All right, what do we got? Ugh. Okay, chomps. That was After easy. finding Steven, it was time to take on Brawly, the next gym leader. Ari's Brawly, a stone a cold killer and wait easily earned MVP in uh, that uh, fight. Uh, Things were going well. Two badges in and the team is looking good. On my way to the next city, I caught a tentacle on the beach. I just love how they just accept the fact that, oh my, what? Squidward. <laughs> and after beating <laughs> Team Magma and Brendan again in Slateport, it was right. time again to get ready for the okay. gym battle with I Watson. just love how her but Pokemon are accepting their some trainers, Chomps the Mawile got a Electrocuted a bit too hard and was killed. Jaden, let's battle. I, I want to show you how strong I am. Wow! <laughs> what okay. shot? Okay. Ari, this is an electric gym. You're not allowed to fight in here, so you can just wait outside. While battling the gym trainers, Onion evolved into Breloom, and together with Teriyaki, they were able to get another victory. Now we were riding high. Three gym badges in, and no... 
main casualties. With our <laughs> massive confidence, we decided to take on the Wind Straight family's challenge of beating all their family members. I had squittered out front to get him some that experience, but we ran into some troubles Poor with Squidward. Grandma. Sorry, Squidward. Oh god, it's gonna do a high jump kick. We can take him out, but I need a clean switch first. <laughs> so I had to sacrifice oh, wow. Hush Child the Wismer, but honestly, that was the safest move to ensure no one else died. Goodbye, Hush uh. Child. You might be missed. While we were heading wow. to Fall Arbor, fighting some trainers, Ari evolved. Oh, look at my big bird. Oh, look at you. Yeah. We were almost to you town, but that. we had to get through the sooty grass on 113. Hey! Oh, jeez. All right, Barf, get in there with the rest of them. I walked into Meteor Falls to see Team Aqua and Team Magma arguing about water and rocks. Can I go? So get away. They kept complaining, and I had to go up the volcano they were blocking to fight Maxi, the Team Magma leader. That was a hard fight. Onion and Teriyaki were able to take out his Mighty Anna and Camerupt, but his Golbat hit hard. I ended up having to switch in Ari and double team up to win the battle. Not the most honorable of strategies, but, but it, worked it worked and we're moving on. On the way down the yeah, volcano, I ran into a matchup. Oh, hello there, Chad. What? Yeah. You're a female? Did I stutter? We arrived in Lava well, Town and started getting through Flannery's weird. gym. During Why that time, Squidward so was almost killed by a Fury swiping Kecleon. Fury swipes. Fury is nice. Oh. Oh, oh my Squidward! God, a lot of damage. It's so Emotional damage! But when it came time to battle, he pulled his weight and more. Honestly, with the team, there wasn't much I could have done to Flannery's fire Pokemon, but Squidward came in clutch by learning Bubble Beam, and hey, it was all over for Squiddy. him. Batch 4, under our belt. Brendan met up with us outside the gym to give us goggles so we could walk in the sandstorms. I found a claw fossil, and Anorith was born. I didn't know what to name Anorith it, so my friend cool. named him Gary. Now it was time for the fifth <laughs> Really? Gym. After some yeah. training, Chad evolved into Machoke, and the team was leveled up. I started the battle with Ari, and after realizing I was in trouble... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh... Oh, dear. Oh. I managed to squeak by with more double teams. Ari was barely able to take out the first slacking, so when the second, stronger one came out, I knew I had to use a different strategy. I brought out Onion to leech seed it and try and get more chip damage in, which worked, but he was also killed by slacking's facade, which yes. I thought he could take. Chad was able to finish off the rest of the get fight, him, but that was the first death that actually hurt. Oh. I'm not crying. Someone's just chopping onions in here. But wow. with every down, there's an up. And Corn stepped up and was ready to fill Onion's spot. While passing through Mauville again, Watson asked us to help him turn off the city's generator. And while down there, I found a Magnemite. Do you want to come with? Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Okay. We kept on our way, catching Spurky the Electrike, and while fighting some trainers, Korn survived two very close bombers. calls. He took a Swords Dance boosted Fury Cutter by Ninjask, and a misclick from me, which resulted in him tanking a wing attack from a Talo. No, no, no! No, 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 no! Korn, no! Oh. Dude, Corn, I'm so sorry. You're such a trooper. Good news is Squidward evolved while training, so that's neat. We arrived in Fortree <laughs> City, and this was a gym I was really nervous uh, about. Not good. only did we not have a good team to take on a flying-type gym, but Winona's Altaria is notorious for sweeping teams if she sets up too many dragon dances. I went to the grass to train up the team, and the worst happened. Corn was killed by pin missile from a zigzag. Wait, wait, no, 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 no! Stop, 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 corn! Corn, no, corn! You monster! How could you do this? Is this why you kept trying to kill all the zigzagoons? I want to think that Corn <laughs> sacrificed Hashtag himself because he did knew we wrong. were at too much of a disadvantage going into Winona's gym, and by opening up a space, we could get the type advantage we needed to stand a chance. With a heavy heart, I brought Zip Zap Zop the Magnemite to the team, and realized how much more grinding I was gonna have to do. I had to fight 
so many Merrills to get Zip Zap Zap on par with the rest of the team. You wanna know how many? The move Thunderbolt can be used 15 times before it runs out. And I had to go back to the Pokemon Center almost six separate times to refill it. Meaning Zip Zap Zap killed more than 80 Merrill that were living in that wow. lake. Oh, Winona led with Swellow, was, which Zip Zap Zap was able to take out. But she That's immediately smart. brought out Altaria, which made me very scared because I know she's got Earthquake on that thing. I didn't have a clean switch and I knew no one on the team could take two hits from this cloud bird. So I ultimately decided that I'd have to have Zip Zap Zap paralyze it in exchange for his death. Goodbye Zip Zap no! Zap. You weren't here for long but your efforts will not be in vi- Oh my god! <gasps> Somehow oh. Zip Zap Zop lived the earthquake on 2 HP like a mad lad. Boss! Boss! Corn must have been looking down on us for that <laughs> one because there was Corn! definitely a 90% chance Zip Zap You're Zop was supposed now. to die there. With that string of luck, I was able to switch Aryan for Zip Zap Zop to predict another earthquake and started chipping away at the Altaria, which was not gonna be easy. She was already starting to stack up those dragon dances, which make her moves even more powerful. <laughs> and I was legitimately sweating. But with what little luck we had left, Winona got greedy and tried to get in that last dragon dance. And that's when Ari was able to swoop in and snipe that kill. Yeah! If that Altaria would have decided to attack at any point, she would have one-shotted anyone and everyone on my team. Thank you, Korn. You shined your photosynthesis on yeah. here. From there, I was able to heal up Zip Zap Zop and sweep the rest of her team. The sixth gym badge was ours. Outside the safari zone, I found a Duskull I was able to catch. I tried to have Gary on the team since resurrecting him from the dirt, but he honestly has like no moves that do damage, so I decided to replace him with Sin. We arrived in Lily Cove and I tried fishing on the beach for a Pokemon, but Chad punched the Whalemer I reeled up too hard and killed it. We stormed Team Magma's base and while trying to get the Master Ball they've got on the ground, an Electrode exploded and almost killed Chad, which was uncalled for. After beating their admin, they escaped into a submarine, and I went on to fight the next gym. Tate and Liza were the first double battle gym leaders, and I didn't realize until too late that I was just a tad underleveled for them. Oh no. Um, they don't have any more than two Pokemon, so I think we should be okay. Oh no. 42? Oh no. Oh. oh. Uh oh. Sin and Zip Zap Zop made a good duo, being able to confuse and paralyze them. But Soul Rock managed to get off a Sunny Day powered flamethrower in Zip Zap Zop's face, which totally killed him. No! That really sucked. He put in so much work for the team and really carried us this far. The rest of this fight's for you, Zip Zap Zop. Squidward came out, and together with Sin, were able to finish off the duo, getting us our seventh gym badge. This is why you gotta cry. In All right, game. gotta cry. You're up. No, he's level 25. Uh, I think I single-handedly wiped out the entire water Pokemon population between Zip Zap Zop and Sparky. Why are we Sparky. committing I Pokemon went to genocide? I showed Blobby the Spiel and I went mean, out to take on Maxi Pokemon one last goes. time. For some reason, I didn't learn it's my like lesson when being underleveled for Tate and Liza. You get captured, you fight, Because I was even more die. underleveled for Maxi. Oh, my Maxi, ooh. Oh. It doesn't go down? This nope. fight was rough. Chad was able to take out his mighty Anna, but I resorted to Squidward when his Crobat came out, and luck wasn't on my side here because Squidward was killed by a high roll wing attack. The way Pokemon works is there's a small range of damage an attack can do. It's not actually the same all the time, and it's kind of based on chance. So even though it looked like Squidward could have lived two wing attacks, Maxi was able to get a low roll on the first one and a high roll on the second which was the death of Squidward. Oh, but it Squid. wasn't time to give up. We had to persevere for Squidward. Ari for came Squid. in and took out the Crobat and lived Get on it, one Ari. HP when hit by Camerap's rock slide. It was a tough yes. battle, but we squeaked by. Barely. Barely. After that fight, I needed to take a step back and seriously grind up the team again. If we were just a bit I more underleveled, we would have been no, murdered. Yeah. Blubby joined the team and we got to work, eventually arriving in Sutopolis. Like Steven and the Sutopolis well. gym leader Wallace were there saying Groudon was in the cave because someone used the wrong orb and pissed him off. So I went in there, walked up to Groudon, 
and master balls him immediately. Hey! There's no way I'm fighting Groudon. Now get in the box. While fighting the Wallace, Sparky was able <laughs> to take out his love disc in Celio. Sin now beat his Whiskash, and Chad finished off the Milotic. Ooh. The team was perfect. Yeah. And after obtaining our final gym badge, I knew we were ready for the Elite Four. No, we no, got you through are Victory not. Road. Wally tried to fight us for the last time, but he just needs to stop. We just exited stop. the cave, and there you it think was. She's ready for the Elite Four? The final challenge. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Sydney was up goes. first, and honestly, he wasn't a challenge at all. Chad and Teriyaki were able to take care of his team with ease. I Phoebe wasn't She's difficult either, work. with Sin and Blubby being MVPs. Yeah, Glacio was, was a bit tougher. Teriyaki was able to take out her Glalies, and Sperky could handle her Celios. But her Wall Rain was the big problem. Wall Rains are thick, can tank a lot of hits, and can do a lot of damage. A I lot of them. Say it with me, guys. Because I have one. I brought out Chad Emotional and she was able damage. to get a good amount of damage, Emotional but she was ultimately damage. killed by Blizzard. Sin came out to try and confuse it, but it broke through the confusion and landed a Sheer Cold. Sheer Cold is a one-hit KO move. It has a 30% chance of hitting the target and will fail if the target Pokemon's level is higher than the user's. But even under all those conditions, it hit, and Sin was killed. Hey! Two great team members, down and out. Chad was with us for so long and pulled so much weight, and Sin got us through some really tough battles. Oh, yeah. Even with those losses, we were able to finish Glacia off and move on to the final Elite Four member, Drake. Drake's got a tough team, but we've got a blubby, and she wanted revenge for her fallen comrades. She go. ice beamed every single one of Drake's Pokemon. Just a straight up massacre. And with that, it was on to the last battle. Steven Stone. I was legitimately nervous. You can do I went it, with Jaden. Sperky we to believe take you. out his Skarmory as quick as possible, and Blubby was able to take out his Claydol and Agron, but then came his <laughs> Metagross. This might be the end. Metagross is Steven's strongest Pokemon, so I needed to hinder it as much as I could before it started doing serious damage. I knew his Metagross had Earthquake, which would definitely take out most of my team, so I had to have Sperky Kamikaze to get a Paralysis off. Blubby came out again, and after a lot of hard work, Go, finally beat the Metagross by spamming Surf. Teriyaki was able to finish his Cradilly, and his final Pokemon was Armaldo, Gary's final revenge for getting booted from the team. I brought it because Teriyaki Gary was hate. weakened, and after realizing she gets two-shotted by him, I knew she was going to have to die. Oh, so no. with a heavy heart, Blubby pulled off her last surf, getting Armaldo in the red, and was killed. Teriyaki... The Pokemon who's been with us from the start. From the beginning! Who's seen her friends die in front of her. The OG. Refused to let any more murder happen. Refused! Onion, Corn, Zip Zap Zop, Squidward, Chad, Sin, Sperky, Blubby. Their zeros and ones won't go down in vain. Corn One good kick Patrick. to the head. And we did it. We completed the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Teriyaki and Ari spare. were the only survivors, but the whole team put in a lot of Basically, work to get us bird, to number one. You got the word. A cheers to the true mad lads. Wow. What a story. What an emotional story. I can't stop. Besides, though. Oh, it's just so sad. We lost so many fallen comrades, you know? It, so... But it'd be like that. Oh, well. So I gotta say, I really enjoyed that video. How about you guys? Yeah, it was nice. It was interesting. If there's one thing I've learned from this video, is if you're a bird, you're most likely gonna survive. Because every non bird just died. Ari survived, Teriyaki survived. <laughs> Seriously, what's with the names? But that was quite an adventure, quite an adventure. Makes me want to play. I'm probably not going to, but it makes me want to. I mean, have you guys ever dealt with that kind of issues in I, Pokemon? Or? Um, well, I can say that it's a common thing to have, but in that type, those type of games to be certain. How about how about you? Any um, any like issues with the four elite? Cause yeah, they were tough, but she I'm, was able to clutch it out. I've never done Nuzbox before, but it's called saving before facing the guy. 
Well, you cannot really do that with Nuzlocke, really. I know, I, that's what I said. I have never mm -hmm. done a Nuzlocke before, but that's why you saved before you fight. Definitely had to grind it out. She had to do a lot of grinding and a lot of Pokemon genocide. I'm not letting that go, guys. What's with the Pokemon genocide? Why is it that she kidnapped a Pokemon? And look, let, let, let's be honest. All the Pokemon she got, she either bullied them into her team or they were doing nothing, minding their own business, and she just captured them. And then she sacrificed them. Granted, they were part of the family. I'll give them that. She did treat them like some of them right. <laughs> and then some betrayed her. <laughs> Oh, Pokemon. Oh, these animated slave fights are killing me inside because people keep calling, mistaking me for a Pokemon and I'm going to have to hurt them because I'm not. I'm a, a cute, adorable wolf. That's it. I'm just a lovable wolf. I'm not a Pokemon. I ain't I'm captured. Surprised. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just it's the principle of the thing. But I digress from the issue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. Let us know your thoughts on what you thought of this video in the comment section down below. And let us know if you guys want us to, like, trio up again and react to something else. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Well, guys, that is our thing. Be sure to subscribe to these two lovely people's channels that will also be in the description. So be sure to like and subscribe. Share the video, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye bye Goodbye. Bye. Bye.